Hello, 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 hello. Hi, how are you guys doing? I'm, uh, well, it probably hasn't sunk in. I'm probably still in shock. Uh, you have an incurable disease. There ain't shit we can do for you. Just give you opioids. Uh. So that's great. Me, the one who's been uh, over here, you know. Uh, railing against drugs of all kinds and it's like first my first thought was like oh crap if I, if this is really incurable and i'm just gonna die from it they said we can make you comfortable yeah that's code word for opioids crap i'm gonna have to start taking your opioids we gotta find a way around this so we there is a chance still and i i we make full advantage of it because yeah no even if it's just for the surgery man I might have to pull out my stomach, but uh, it's to save my life now. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of on board for that. I got all these printouts that I printed out a long time ago, and I, some of them I just could not get at the time. And it was my brain was all on the chemo, and now it's just, like I said, that is the, the weirdest part for me because now I just, I found this one, and I'm like, I couldn't play that. I can't play. I don't know how to play. And I, I just sat down, and I looked at it, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> And then I looked at the, the the verses, and I'm like, well, wait a minute. It's like, baby, do you understand me now? Sometimes I feel real bad. Don't you know that no one alive can always be an angel? When things go wrong, I seem to be bad. I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh, Lord. You know, and then, well, it goes into a bridge. Uh, if I see you, I want you to know that I never meant to take it out on you. Life has its problems, and I get my share. And there's the one thing I never need to do, because I love you. But it helps if you can be able to read it. Sorry, I, like I said, I just found this piece of paper, and it's like like literally right before I uh, I started to record this because I had nothing nothing at all to play. In. So I figured, well, let's go through the little pile, and I just found that. So you know that was kind of super cool. Um, you know, I, I'm not gonna let this this death thing get me down too much. I hope it's not gonna um, bring you guys down. I want to keep the uh, vibrations high. I think that's how I'm gonna get cured. So you know. I also think that the music is going to help too, and I I thank you guys so much. Thank you guys who just subscribed and all that. Um, Yellow Cat, uh, the RSO, uh, totally, dude. I'm still on that, man. Um, to the point of I've been at the pot shop going. How come you guys can't get back to medical marijuana? Because there's a difference. Because before they switch to recreational marijuana in Washington state. They did have a medical marijuana business. I was actually lucky enough to try some of the medical marijuana. Someone shared it with someone who shared it with me. And I was like, wow, you know, it was, just, it was completely different than the stuff that they sell now. Um, and it was, it should still be marketed in my opinion. Um, because these days I, I don't even get stoned anymore. So it's like, you know, this stuff really is just for the RSO stuff. It's just, uh, for the effects that, um, hopefully will be, um contributing to the 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 getting rid of this thing in me so um yeah man totally on the rso stuff and uh um 
probably going to go have some a little bit, you know, right after this. Uh, they come in uh, syringes here because that that's how they can market them, being able to inject it in the food. Get it? Uh, yeah. Um, so that that's it would, strange marketing, please. Strange laws. Um, uh, you know, all that other good stuff. But uh, yeah, definitely on, on the, the Rick Steves oil stuff. Um, and uh, it seemed to have helped in the beginning. And maybe I should go back to this. I was just thinking about this yesterday. It's like what seemed to have helped in the beginning was those super, super high doses of THC. Um, should I go back to that? I mean, I don't know that I can afford that, man, because I'm on some what they would call high doses now. And if I if I up it more, it's like, wow, dude, can I afford that shit? I don't know about that, man. So, um, yeah, this is all like a balancing act here. And I'm trying to find the middle. I've babbled on long enough. Um, I, I just wanted to get out and say, hey, I'm going to keep fighting, man. If you guys want to come along for the fight, please do all the more the merrier you guys your energy helps me a lot. It really does. Even if you don't know it, it does help me a lot. And thank you. It's, you know, the energy of, of people, of, of love, of compassion, of, of, of just people getting together and, and going, hey, man, you know, whatever, you know, just we're, we're another human being here on the planet for you, you know. Um, it helps a lot. Thank you very much. Um, you know, the subscriber thing, please keep going if you could. Because like I said, I, I don't know if uh, I'm even going to be around because the, the rate I'm getting the subscribers, it uh, I, I they didn't tell me how long I would be around. So um, I really don't know. And uh, I can't say. And I would like to reach that goal. And it, this is absolutely not something just to come out here and go, yo, man, if you want this to happen, you, you have to do it now. It's you, This is definitely, please um, help me out here because I, I would like to, do this before I actually die. Um, that is a messed up thing to say. I'd never thought I'd ever utter those words, but damn, man, it's it's got to sink in at some point. Um, anyways, always look up, man. He's there for you. I want to end this on a positive, positive note because that's where we go. Positive. Go out and play some music, man. Go listen to the animals. They're freaking amazing. Eric Burden's voice is just, whoa, dude. You know, spill the wine. And uh, yeah, man, always look up. He's there for you. Or was that war? Anyway, Eric Burden. You know, listen to Eric Burden. Just do either war or the animals. Um, he, he's pretty, pretty amazing singer. And uh, always look up. He's there for you. I'll see you then, man. Peace.